How wonderful person, this is Anton, and in this video we're going to discuss yet another somewhat bizarre discovery that's currently very difficult to explain. A discovery of potentially a completely new type of an explosion, an extremely powerful explosion, coming from a distant galaxy that we've never seen before. And based on observations from several different telescopes and the analysis that took several months, we're now pretty certain that whatever this is, it's never been seen before and was very likely caused by something ridiculously powerful. And so let's discuss this event in a little bit more detail, starting with how this was discovered and of course why this was so unusual. And this is the space telescope that discovered this explosion. This is known as the Einstein probe. A relatively recent addition to space telescopes and the one that we still haven't heard about much because it just started operating, but this was a joint mission by the Chinese Space Agency and the European Space Agency, along with the famous Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics. And so this telescope actually launched almost exactly a year ago, in early 2024, and almost right away it started to discover some really bizarre phenomena. But unlike other telescopes like the Hubble and the James Webb, this is a purely X-ray experiment. And its main purpose is to try to find various high-energy transients or high-energy explosions, which is why it was designed to detect X-ray emissions that change dramatically over time. And here it essentially focused on three main goals. Powerful events such as merger of neutron stars that can then be linked to various gravitational waves, various inactive or quiescent black holes that once in a while produce X-ray emissions when something tiny falls into them, and any additional X-ray phenomena that might resemble some kind of a powerful explosion. And almost right away, within just a few weeks, it already discovered several explosions visible in the X-rays, which in most cases were then linked to a lot of well-known explosions such as, for example, GRBs, gamma ray bursts. And gamma ray bursts or GRBs are essentially some of the most powerful explosions that we've ever seen anywhere. Intensely energetic events, usually happening in distant galaxies, which usually emit tremendous amount of energy in under two seconds. As a matter of fact, the most powerful explosion we've ever seen was also a GRB. The so-called brightest of all time only happened a couple of years ago and is definitely something we've never seen before. The video in the description talks about this a little bit more. But normally, a gamma ray burst is also followed by tremendous X-rays that can actually last much, much longer and are then followed by ultraviolet, optical, infrared, microwave, and even radio frequencies. Which is why this telescope was actually linked to a lot of other telescopes in order to find and study more GRBs and to uncover their mysteries. But today, based on thousands of different detections, it's basically believed that GRBs are caused by one of two phenomena. Either two neutron stars colliding, forming a black hole and exploding in the process, as well as releasing huge amounts of gravitational waves, or such as the case of the GRB 211009A, also known as brightest of all time, a massive star collapsing under its own gravity, forming a black hole, but also exploding with a tremendous power. And so in all of these cases, these events form these super bright jets that travel for billions of years and can easily be seen from anywhere. And so in some sense, one of the main goals for this telescope was to observe these events by using X-ray wavelengths. Mostly because this is the most sensitive and the most accurate X-ray space telescope and it would allow us to observe things we've never seen before. But while looking for these high energy transients and while monitoring the night skies, on March 15th of 2024, the Einstein probe detected something really bizarre. This was an X-ray burst coming from approximately 12 and a half billion light years away from us and it lasted for approximately 17 minutes. This was the longest such event we've seen in the X-rays. And while at first it was believed to be another gamma ray burst, potentially a super powerful one, and possibly caused by some kind of a collapsing star once again. And obviously, in order to determine exactly what the scientists saw, they had to rely on other telescopes. Interestingly, approximately one hour after the X-rays, the South African ATLAS, or the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, has accidentally detected optical light coming from the same location, with the follow-up using the Very Large Telescope and the Gemini North Telescope confirming that this was a burst from approximately 12.5 billion light years away from us. But compared to other GRBs, something here was really not adding up. At first, the scientists could not see the gamma rays. As in normally, in a gamma ray burst, following the X-ray emissions, we usually see powerful gamma rays coming from the same location almost right away. And so in a typical GRB, X-rays are observed first, and then after just under one minute, we usually see gamma rays. And interestingly, it actually took a lot of digging to actually find out what's happening. 
and it turns out that there was a gamma ray explosion, but it happened much, much later. Here the gamma rays were eventually detected, but they happened minutes after the explosion, with such an unusual long delay never observed before. And so combined with the very long X-ray emissions and the very long delay between X-rays and gamma rays, something here was already not adding up. And while well, to try to resolve exactly what happened here and what caused this explosion, Brandon O'Connor and his team, along with a different team led by Roberto Ricci, conducted additional observations and additional search by using other telescopes, and actually a lot of telescopes, New Star, Swift, Gemini, Keck, Atka, Nicer, and DACCAM, in order to basically dig out as many different wavelengths as they could. This was a combination between ground-based and space-based telescopes, and the focus here was on figuring out what kind of a transient this was and what caused it. And looks like that assumption that this was just a GRB was potentially incorrect. Mostly because in this case this explosion did not match typical GRB observations and was potentially an entirely new, rare class of powerful explosions that's never been seen before. So basically here, comparing this to different explosions, it will have certain properties from supernova, certain properties from tidal disruption events, and certain properties from GRBs, but doesn't seem to resemble any one of them, instead borrowing a few properties from here and there. For example, it was just a little bit too long to be a GRB, but a little bit too short to be a tidal disruption event. It was also extremely bright, and this high luminosity from such a far distance only means a very powerful event, but it also came from a location where there really doesn't seem to be anything too active or anything producing major emissions. But in order to solve this mystery, scientists just had to wait a little bit, mostly because when it comes to GRBs or a lot of other powerful emissions, they always start with high energies, so gamma rays and X-rays, and eventually start to emit visible light radio light and microwaves. So basically here researchers were trying to wait for the radio emissions in order to discover additional details. But that's where the mystery started. The very large array, the extremely powerful radio telescope in New Mexico, did not see anything. And normally when we detect gamma rays and X-rays, we basically always see radio light afterwards. And that's actually because there is a lot of dust in the area, and as these jets collide with all of this dust, the external shockwaves usually generate radio waves. And that really did not make sense if this was a GRB, or even if this was some kind of a supernova, and actually did not resemble any powerful event we've seen previously. And so the only possible explanation that kind of made sense here was basically a jetted tidal disruption. This is a rare cosmic explosion that usually happens around massive black holes, and normally involves a star being teared apart, causing a release of materials in two directions along the magnetic jets. And these jets often produce X-rays, but they also are supposed to produce radio emissions. Except that in many cases, these radio jets take much longer to reach us and might be months or even years behind. Which means that the best explanation for this strange event is basically a black hole absorbing a star. But only if we see radio emissions in the next few months. And that's because so far we've only discovered 100 such events, and in every single case, we always see radio emissions following the event. So basically here, the only way this can be a tidal disruption is actually if we see some kind of a radio emission in the next few months. But the question is, what if we don't? Now normally if these radio emissions do come, they should be visible for years to come, so at some point one of the radio telescopes should be able to see them from this location. But if we don't, by let's say 2028, then this is indeed a completely new class of an object. Possibly a new type of an explosion we've never seen before, and possibly caused by something exotic and something really bizarre. In this case, since it basically came from some kind of an unknown host or some kind of a quiet galaxy, it's going to be really difficult to find out exactly what this is. And since the gamma ray emissions were also not particularly bright, yet the X-ray emissions were visible even after 5 days, right now the black hole explanation is the only one that potentially makes sense. And so the scientists behind the recent study do think that maybe this is some kind of a white dwarf being completely destroyed by some kind of a smaller intermediate mass black hole, which is why we're seeing emissions that are so much weaker, but also so unique. Because in this case this is an intermediate mass black hole and not a supermassive black hole, it's possibly producing very different emissions with very different time frames, and since we're not seeing any radio light, it possibly just doesn't have anything around it to create shock waves, or maybe the disrupted star, the white dwarf, was just completely destroyed right away, leaving nothing in the process. Either way, at least for now, EP240408A is going to remain a mystery, a never before seen event with extremely powerful emissions, but predominantly in the X-rays 
and visible from really really far away. Right now this doesn't have a name, it doesn't have a good explanation, and we may not have an explanation until we see those radio waves. But this is obviously not the first time bizarre explosions have been discovered, and not the first time we find such a strange mystery. One of the more recent discoveries when it comes to explosions is something scientists now refer to as the scary Barbie. You might want to find out about this in one of the videos in the description, and that strange explosion that was detected a few years back has now been potentially explained in some of the recent studies. The video in the description explains everything. And so until we learn something else, and until someone actually figures out exactly what this is, that's all I wanted to mention. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.